Hey, what is up you guys? It is Overlord Gaming here, and today I decided to bring you guys another commentary. And today's topic is going to be on the Halo 2 Anniversary, or the Halo Master Chief Collection. Call it what you want. Now, more importantly, it's going to be on the button glitches for Halo 2. Uh, I heard a rumor that, you know, they weren't going to be in, and a lot of people got pissed, and a lot of people got upset. Now, that isn't true. What is true, however, is the fact that they're not going to have the one to ranking system like it was in Halo 3 and the original Halo 2. But I'll get to that later. Now for the button glitches, what they're going to do is they're going to have uh, two game types, which is one that's running the original Halo 2 engine, which has updated graphics, same as the Halo 2 Anniversary and then the actual Halo 2 Anniversary itself, along with a few other game modes. Now the difference is, as I've already told you, that there, there's button glitches in one and then the other there isn't. However, there's a slight difference in the anniversary besides that. There is a slight change in the aim assist and the uh, bullet magnetism. Uh, there's going to be slightly less of both of those in the anniversary type. Now, I'm actually really, really glad that they did this simply because I feel that it would make both sides uh, of the line, you know, happy, you know, one side doesn't like the button glitches, the other side is, you know, one side that stays to stay the same and have the button glitches. And this appeases to both sides, and I'm really, really happy that they did this. And 343, I think they really did a good job, and they're finally starting to, you know, listen to the community because they realized that they screwed up on Halo 4 really badly. Now, I am actually, I've been looking around the internet and I found out that they aren't going to have the ones with the ranking system, like I said. And really the only reason why they're doing that was because people were actually making profit, as you know, off of, you know, selling 50s and selling accounts and, you know, doing other whatnot. And I don't necessarily blame them, because that is a really, really extraordinarily cheap way to make money and a lot of, and I do mean a lot of people got pissed. And I really... In my first opinion, I don't mind, simply because of the fact that you can cheat your way up to a 50, you can buy a 50 to make yourself feel better, to make yourself look like a better player. However, whenever you run into said fake 50 or, you know, fake highest rank, you can tell by the way that they play that they're absolute garbage and that they suck. You know, there's always going to be a difference and always going to be a skill gap. And personally, I'd rather have them just have like they did in Halo Reach, which was the arena, which was based on your personal score, not if you won or lost. If you had a high personal score, like you totally backpacked your team and, you know, you carried them, you know, you got a higher rank. It, you know, it'd be like around, I think, like 1,600, 1,700, and the max I think it could go, it could go up to was like 2,500. But that's only if you got like all the 50 kills on the desk, which is, would be monstrous. Now, what I really, really dislike is that with Halo 2, they've changed some things and some of the maps, well, not drastically, but ever so slightly. Like on Halo 3, uh, what was it? Zanzibar or Last Resort, uh, Last Resort, call it what you want. Some of these spots that you get up to in Halo 3 aren't going to be there. And they've done that for all the maps. Some little, you know, glitchy spots and some other, you know, optional spots aren't going to be in Halo Master Chief Collection. And that really just kind of saddens me. I don't necessarily like that personally. I was reading through some other stuff on the internet today, and I found something really amusing. Uh, along with the 60 frames per second and 1080p that the Halo 2 is going to be running on, it's also going to be running on dedicated servers. And I'm really, really happy for that because now, whenever you're playing matchmaking, there's going to be no one with a huge outright host advantage that, you know, either beats people, you know, by a glorious amount or, you know, cheats death occasionally and, you know, misses their shot but still gets the kill. And that really, in my opinion, that's really gonna, you know, bump the Halo experience up for me because in Halo 3 and Halo 2, the host advantage was extraordinarily prominent. And in my opinion, it ruined a lot. It ruined the game, and it ruined a lot of the fun that I had with Halo 3. I didn't necessarily get to play Halo 2 all that much, whenever it was around. I know a lot of people 
are really, really excited for the game, and the others, eh, not so much, simply because of the fact that they, you know, screwed up on Halo 4 so badly, and they're, you know, tentative to buy Halo 2 because, you know, they think it's going to be screwed up. A lot of people are bashing Halo now simply because, you know, they're re-releasing all the games, but what they had to realize is that Halo, as a franchise, is the Xbox flagship. It is basically what made the 360. They are holding that game prisoner and going to beat it like a dead horse. <laughs> or either that, or stuff the body under a table and roll it out many, many, many years later and be like, here, here's a new game. But anyway, along with the anniversary, I think it's December 21st, they're going to be releasing the Halo 5 beta. And it's going to be a three week beta. And I don't necessarily know any specific details uh, I think they're cutting out some weapons or yeah like some really prominent weapons that are gonna be in the full game it's gonna be mainly uh, stuff that you've seen you know throughout all the others but as you know for specifics I'm not quite sure I'm a little fuzzy on that I need to do some research and I'll get back to you guys on that but I'm really curious to know what you guys think of the Halo 2 anniversary and you know, the other games uh, Halo 5, and you know, what you guys think Halo 5 and the Anniversary and the Master Chief Collection as a whole is going to be like, because that uh, game is going to have, you know, over 100 uh, maps in it, and probably going to have quite a few game types, that's disincluding all the fan-made ones and fan-made fan -made maps in Forge, and that's going to be a ridiculous amount. Personally, my map is going to be high ground. I always loved high ground in Halo 3, and I heard, I'm not quite sure, I can't confirm this, but whenever they were making Halo 3, they are going to have an AI set up in the sniper tower on high ground, and they were originally thinking about putting that back in. I don't necessarily know if they're going to do that, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, tell me what map you guys are most excited for. Tell me what game type you guys want to see the most in Halo 2 or any Halo game, and you know, how do you guys think this is all going to turn out? This is Overlord signing out, and I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of my gameplay. Thanks for watching. Enemy team nearing victory.